I think the strong digital foundation that we have laid over the last two years helped us to overcome the COVID related challenges uh, when there was a need to deliver our transactional services to our clients. Uh, for example, I think at a time that we were unable to reach our clients to their doorstep, the bank to you proposition that we had helped us to go to these deserving clients with our bank to application and help them with their day to day uh, cash transactions. Or the ATM network that we had, and also the uh, mobile ATMs. The capability we had in terms of reaching to the clients uh, helped us to deliver cash and also to deliver the cash transactions to the places where bank is unable to reach. We use this mobile platform to go and reach these customers. Uh, now these are a couple of examples of the strong digital foundation that we have laid in the past. The mobile app, the NDB NEOS app, Again, that was laid, the foundations were laid about one, one and a half years ago. Had a significant level of mobile transactions. Actually, more than 51% increase in usage of the mobile transaction we saw during the COVID period. And that is going to stay. That's the beauty. Uh, because the foundation was already laid. We also make use of that period to introduce our online NEOS application as well and that is doing a lot of transactions and we saw quite a big uptick of usage of the digital services. Now, for example, earlier uh, our transactions carried through the digital channels were around 67 to 70%. Now more than 81% of our transactions are carried out through the digital channels. Or if you look at the digital withdrawals, now it has gone up to 94% from uh, mid 80s uh, before COVID. So if you look at the digital deposits, now it's about 57% of our deposits are now acquired through the digital channels compared to around 40% prior to the COVID situation. These are all thanks to the strong digital layer that we have laid over the last two years. I talk about some of the uh, other digital layers that we lay. Uh, the robotic process automation, RPAs. Now, right now we have three uh, robots working with about seven RPA processors. Again, it improves the efficiency, accuracy, and in a time like uh, a COVID kind of a situation, those RPAs, whether people come to office or not, the RPAs have worked. Uh, if you look at the workflow solution again, uh, we have laid about 12 workflow solutions streamlining uh, from the uh, launch of a credit application to the final approval and also automating the offer letter printing. All that is handled through uh, workflow that helps us to manage with less staff. So how we manage our work without having uh, any impact to the business was the more than 50% of staff were staying at home during the COVID period. We started working initially with about 30% of our staff. Thanks to these digital platforms, the strong IT support that we are laid, so that helped us to operationalize these things without the full involvement of uh, manual in, uh, intervention. Uh, again, another initiative was the e-statement conversion rather than sending now again when, when there's a challenge to deliver the statements to the postal services etc. Uh, the e-statement initiative helped us to reach these clients and as a result a lot of customers also converted to the e-statement. Right now about 70% of our uh, communications in, the, in terms of the statements and all are communicated through the e-statement. At the leading to a significant saving of paper that is uh, in terms of uh, saving uh, about 60 trees for six months. I mean, so that's the level of digital intervention that has happened uh, in some of these operational areas. And we also expanded our training platforms. Now, post-COVID, 
we conducted, I think, Sri Lanka's largest uh, e-based training on a virtual platform and 916 staff took part in that training during a weekend. Uh, again, a new initiative that was deployed post-COVID and we have taken it to different, different short training courses also conducted through the e-platform. Uh, most of our now meetings are conducted on uh, Teams or similar e-platforms. Uh, our meetings with our subsidiaries overseas or the other subsidiary companies are now most of the time are con uh, conducted uh, on this digital platform. So these are I think some positive development as well which uh, COVID allowed us to think in a different way. Uh, another initiative is uh, the platforms that we introduce for our customers. Now when customers had difficulties in reaching out to the supermarkets or other general areas for their day-to-day -day buying. We saw a new set of vendors who started coming to our doorstep selling their products. So we replicated that model allowing these vendors to come and display their products on a platform so that the customers have access to what their products and services are. Now this is where we tied up with uh, Daras which is a subsidiary of uh, Alibaba and through that, we have seen quite a significant number of new vendors registering with on this Daras platform. And we have an exclusive arrangement for our banking on women customers to display their products on the Daras platform. Now, later on, we took that platform to a different level. We tied up with Code 360, where they have a platform for exporters, the export markets. Now, that's where we conceived the idea of helping these exporter clients to go to the market in a more meaningful way. And post-COVID, we realized the two key areas where our we can make a meaningful contribution to the GDP are the exporters and also the innovators who have products but unable to come out and then display those products. So that's why we launched a product called uh, Jayagam Sri Lanka that was post-COVID. And that's where we tied up with so many service providers to take these innovators, exporters to the next level. So we had uh, tied up arrangement with the uh, Export Development Board, uh, SLESIC, which is a Sri Lanka Credit Export Guarantee Scheme, uh, Chamber of Commerce in terms of providing services and access to their database. We also tied up with uh, DARAS and also Code 360 in terms of sharing a platform for these clients to sell their products. Uh, we also tied up with uh, a firm to offer ERP solution so that the customer will be in charge of their stock management, the payroll management, HR management and all. Uh, we also tied up with the uh, School of Business Economics to teach these clients on the cash flow management, the SME type of clients, how to help them to manage their accounting and the cash flow side. So it's a holistic solution rather than simple lending related solution we are only a low cost lending but we tied up with many partners to guide them through this process so they can make a meaningful contribution to the economic revival post covid so the, the strong digital foundation that we have laid uh, like the ndb neos platform the digital uh, internet banking platform the digital branches that we have opened all we are lining up, looking at the future and the future of the Sri Lankans, the future of our country are the youngsters who are digitally savvy, new set of new breed of customers who are coming up. So we are laying the foundation so that actually the bank is catering to them as well as the established other customers to this digital channel and these have been recognized by international awarding bodies. For example, NDB is the first bank to be listed as the best digital bank by uh, Global Finance Magazine of USA. We won that in 2019 as the best digital bank. That's the first time that the Global Finance has selected uh, award category to recognize the digital banks and then 
NDB is the first bank to get recognized as the best digital bank. Then this year, the Asia Money awarded us for the second consecutive year as the best domestic bank in Sri Lanka. And also the Asian banker recognized us as the best digital initiative for our bank to you proposition. The proposition where uh, with the tablet banking, our staff goes and collect cash from a sector of clients who are either to bank. Uh, for example, the uh, low income earners, the five show drivers, or the, even uh, those in the vendors in the street markets. They have become our quite a core segment of our clients who have moved into the savings platform and have become clients of us. Thanks to the bank to you proposition. Again, thanks to a digital investment that we made. So I think a lot of opportunities for the right decisions that we have taken in terms of laying the digital foundation. We see a clear path and I'm sure on this strong foundation that we have laid, uh, future is quite uh, bright. We see a lot of opportunities and looking forward to capturing those opportunities and also serving the country in that process.